Yeah, I think, um, well, one of them is just overlooking, not being as closely in touch with the people next to you because you assume you know where they are. Because you started with the same heart. And so because you were in the army, you were just, let's, let me face where the need is and not paying attention to the people closest to you. And then you don't, you don't know when somebody's heart changed or when they went through a tragedy and you, they didn't, you didn't even realize. And so I learned later on the hard way that, you know, some people got hurt, but I didn't know because I wasn't looking. I was so focused on where we were going. And so I think one of the things I've learned is that team that you start with, they have to be your disciples and you never lose sight of them. I mean, David had these mighty men and then his mighty men did the mighty things. <laughs> so, you know, we hear a lot about King David, but actually you don't hear about the giant, apart from Goliath. That's the only guy you hear he killed. But you hear about all the, his mighty men. There's a whole, there are chapters in the Bible about his mighty men. They're the ones who are doing the work, you know? And so as a pastor, not, not losing sight of your mighty men, just being able to pour into them, even as they grow older, they still need you. And so that's one of the mistakes that I made uh, back in the day.